Hello to everybody and welcome to this uh, new webinar from uh, Louis Bellet. I'm uh, glad to uh, to welcome you here. Um, I would like to see you in person, of course, but it's uh, a mean of keeping in contact with you guys and um, giving you some uh, information about uh, this exciting new product, uh, which is the polygon tools, polygon cutters for uh, conical or special thread uh, milling. So let me introduce myself. Yeah, I'm Hervé Baour and I'm here uh, to take care about uh, inter international sales as well as uh, global marketing. So let's get into it. So we will talk about today about the production of custom or special threads. The, the issue is uh, usually when you want to, to produce such a, such a screw or such a, an implant, you do have generally a non-symmetric or non-linear geometry. So here, for instance, this is a customer's application where he does have a straight thread combined with a conical one, a tapered one. And if we see it turning, we see the different joints between the two threads, which is pretty critical and complicated to, to realize. So today, the solution that we do see mostly is a T-cutter to generate the, the shape, but usually it's only one, uh, one type of shape by turning as well with inserts or whirling like the utilities guys are, are proposing. But here as well, you the advantage is that you can have a, a fairly long uh, screw but the, the geometry or the, 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 the principle of the, of the thread is uh, cylindric. And of course, there is a lot of programming behind that. So all the, the programmation needs to be done in order to realize this kind of uh, machining. Well, what we did uh, at uh, Louis Bellet was to, to think about what we have in hand. And what we have in hand is the polygon thread milling which allows our customers who are doing small screws to do it really fast, really simply, and with a really nice surface state. How does it work? You, you, you may find a, a webinar, a recorded webinar on our YouTube channel uh, that you can take advantage of to learn how to, to do that. So if you have a cylindrical uh, uh, screw to realize, this kind of operation or this kind of tool is fairly uh, simple to use. So you have uh, a die or a, a, an end mill, a circular end mill with the complete profile milled or grinded onto it. And turning by the same ratio of uh, rotation than the, the part, you do the complete screw or complete thread at once. This is fairly simple once again and uh, really easy to, to realize. Our idea behind the, this uh, webinar was to, or uh, behind the, the product, was to apply that for custom or non non cylindric uh, screws. So we first wanted to simulate it in order to see if it was working. And my colleagues from uh, our research and development did that, and we saw that theoretically we could generate polygon mill that could make this uh, this thread. This is the, the simulation, uh, but now we need to, to think about uh, the realization because you, you can do many things uh, by computer, but realizing it and grinding the, the, the cutters are pretty uh, complicated or might be complicated. So we did the, the simulation as well. So this is a, a 3D uh, representation of the cutter. And the, the idea behind that was is really to put all the programming into the cutter. So that means that all the programmation you will have to do is uh, simply go in and go out and the complete thread will be done. So on the, on the simulation, 3D simulation, we could realize it and we developed two type of uh, cutters with the same profile but different teeth count. One with uh, 36 and the other one with 84 teeth. In order to, to after we, we did the, the, the part, the cutters, we had to 
try it out. So we went to our partners here in the area. We did that on a lace machine, Tornos machine, on the Swiss Nano, also a fairly small machine uh, with a tool holder, a polygon tool holder. And we did the, the test. And we did also a second test by Bumotech on a Bumotech S191 in order to, to see if both kind of uh, machine type would work. So both on a lace, on a Swiss machine, Swiss tap machine, and on a, on a milling machine. Here I, show, I will show you the realization of the production and the machining of uh, one of these parts. This one was made on a, on a brass part uh, in order to see anything because uh, we could make it without uh, any coolant. And um, so the ratio between the rotation ratio between the part and the cutter is one to one and it was turning at 750 RPM and the cutting speed was at 95 meters per minute. The feed rate was at uh, seven and uh, the, the last, uh, really last uh, hundreds of millimeter uh, on, the, on the pass uh, was at, was at uh, 0 0.5 millimeter, uh, F 0 0.5 in order to, um, in order to, to, to get a really smooth and nice uh, surface uh, state. Let's see how it works. So you go uh, with the with the fret cutter, with the polygon fret cutter directly onto the part. You do the, the pass and you go out and uh, the part is realized. So if you are used to make it this kind of thing with, uh, with a turning, insert turning or, or uh, machining by turning, you might think about something like two minutes, uh, maybe on a, or some minutes at least. With this part, you can really take advantage of the, of the simpleness of this uh, application. And as you can see, um, the, 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 the machining time is about nine seconds. So less than 10 seconds and you get the perfect thread. I mean, you get the thread. We will see how it uh, looks like afterwards. Uh, you get the thread and um, uh, basically the, 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 the result was uh, really surprisingly really good. Um, what I need to say as well is uh, we did that on the on a, on a brass, but we did also that into titanium and uh, stainless steel without any problem. So the same cutting speed, uh, etc. We can see here that uh, these are the two parts, the two parts that we realized both on the Swiss Nano and on the, uh, on the Bumotech. And uh, surprisingly, the Swiss Nano w had a better uh, surface state or a better result, fairly be better result with the 3060s uh, cutter and uh, the, the, the bigger uh, machine, uh, milling machine, uh, was wor working better with the 84T's cutter. So is it a conclusion? I don't know, but uh, we might uh, think about uh, doing extended tests to, to define really the, the T's count. So we had the, the part, but we needed to control the geometry. So the geometry was, uh, uh, was made like this or was controlled like this. You do, you do see here the, the red, you, you barely see the, the, the red uh, uh, line, which is the, the DXF file. It is completely super uh, overlaid on the on the picture of the part itself, and there is I mean this is really good and really perfect. You only see some small difference uh, by some microns, so really we were happy with uh, what we what we could achieve. And once again, really simply. So we did the test, and within let's say two hours, with all the machine setup. First production and, and all this stuff, it was really easy to, uh, to program the machine. As said, you just enter and you go out and, uh, and, uh, and the part is, uh, is made. So, uh, really the, the, uh, the result were really good. And we wanted to thanks once again, uh, the both uh, companies, Bumotech and, and Tornos for their help. But of course, we definitely can work on any uh, citizen star, citizen star. Uh, whatever uh, lace machine, as well as a Vima Macrodel or whatever uh, milling machine. So this was really uh, interesting. So we can think now about what could be 
next and um, the it's it's up actually opening new possibilities the the main uh, the main uh, advantages as said before is the simpleness of the of the programming uh, and the production type i would also add that the live duration might be also uh, longer than uh, standard uh, whirling tool or things like this because even if uh, uh, this is uh, is uh, is breaking you still have the 30, uh, 35 or 83 others that are still working and 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 do the machining like normal so this is uh, this is really uh, interesting for for instance an overnight production going a bit further than that we could think also of a tapered thread so a conical thread could be also done with such technology variable pitch as well which could be difficult to achieve with a standard uh, tooling so here you do see that the the pitch is uh, going from uh, 1 to 0 0.5 so the the this could be really easily done or eccentric so the technology is there we do have the know-how we know it will work i i'm fairly done with the 15 minutes uh, presentation i think i give you here my contact information so hb at lbsa.ch it's my uh, email address and uh, my phone number you can contact me by whatsapp by message by WeChat or whatever, I am I'm connected, so don't hesitate to contact me. But uh, yeah, I, I also will be, or we will be at the MDNM show uh, in uh, Anaheim in the US early August. So you, if you are over there, you definitely can visit us. We can also send you invitation. Uh, you will certainly get. Uh, an email uh, telling you telling you all the direction we will be on the swiss pavilion uh, at the at the mdnm show all right so if you would like to 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 ask some question feel free uh, what i would like to to point out really is the simpleness of this uh, cutter um, it's it's really simple to to set up uh, the live duration is really high the surface state is uh, really we were really uh, astonished how good it was and the the precision of the of the of the geometry of the thread is also completely sure because the it's the the geometry of the cutter itself so we are we do have a, a lot of know-how in the in the precision and on the for instance the, the hub uh, for small pitches so this helps us to to have the really high quality and a, a high precision uh, cutting uh, cutters grinding okay so I don't see any any question so now I'm, I'm basically done with the with the presentation I hope you you liked it um, I'm always available for any question uh, feel free to contact me and I wish you a nice summer as well as a, as a, a nice holiday if you do have and don't hesitate and 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 still um, uh, have fun for uh, by machining uh, especially with our uh, louis belle cutters bye bye thanks to everyone and have a nice day